Hello? Hello? Check, check, one, two. Hey. Hi. Hey, folks. This is Dan Lizette. This is the Podcast Digest, sort of. Actually, it's just an update. It's been over three months since I've spoken to you guys, and there's been so many thoughts I've had and so many things going on and so many things I wanted to tell you that Twitter hasn't been enough. I haven't done any blog posts. Uh, the show has been on a hiatus, um, and I wanted to talk to really anybody who's actually going to be listening to this. And here are a few things I wanted to tell you. First, the Podcast Digest is not dead. It will not die. <laughs> it will be coming back at some point, and I wish I could give you a date. I, I don't have that date yet, okay? Um, for those of you who've been around, um, and the reason I wanted to put this out here like this was, if any of you are still subscribed to this show, I thank you. I thank you seriously. If you've been going through the back catalog or have just recently found the show, thank you for checking out the back ep episodes. What's been amazing to me in this over three-month hiatus I've been on is that I'm still having people download the show. I'm still getting feedback from people on some of the old interviews, which is amazing. Because for those of you maybe who have just popped in for a time or two or just joined the, the feed recently, there is 149 episodes in the back catalog, many of which I'm so extraordinarily proud of. There is great recommendation episodes. There are interviews with uh, uh, podcasters, both big and small, from major networks, from independents, um, of every, almost every genre of a podcast, from sports to true crime to documentary to narrative to comedy uh, to interview shows uh, to technology and so on. I've been very fortunate in my time with the podcast digest over three years now uh, to develop a back catalog that I could not be prouder of. And many of you are just now finding it for the first time, and it is awesome that you guys are doing that. So that's the first reason I wanted to hop back on the mic here with just the few minutes I have really to uh, make sure that I told all of you that I really appreciate all of you who are still listening. Those of uh, you who are new to the show, who are coming through the back catalog, those of you who have tweeted me at Pod Digest on Twitter or joined the Facebook page, it's amazing to me. I mean, the follower count has gone up. The likes on Facebook have gone up. Downloads continue all while I've been on hiatus. And it's amazing. Those of you still supporting me on Patreon, I tell you right now, I feel super guilty that I've not produced a show in so long. Uh, but if anyone really wants to know, uh, to be to be truthful, uh, I'm not actually making any real money from Patreon at this point. I've actually flipped almost all of my contributions to support other shows. Um, and that's the only reason I'm not yet shut it down, because there are so many great shows out there um, that uh, are continuing to publish and doing well. And um, I'm happy to be able to keep supporting those guys. So um, thank you for sticking with me. And let's go back to the main topic, which is the podcast digest is going to come back. I am going to resume interviews. I am going to pick it up. I'm still on the mailing list for a lot of the networks. I still get notifications of upcoming shows with some previews and some, uh, you know, offers for interviews. So that's been great that those folks are still reaching out to me. Um, so I expect to resume and I expect to resume soon ish. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, or anybody who um, wanted an update, let me just give you uh, the low down dirty on where we are today. So July 31st was my last day at my previous day job of over 11 years. Um, I can probably say the name now. Cantar Media is the company I worked for. Um, they did some reorganization, some layoffs, and I was a part of that group. Several months before that, um, I was looking on what to do next, and I decided that I was going to start my own business, buy a franchise. Those of you who are close followers on Twitter or Instagram know that uh, my business is called uh, Pet Wants Exton. Uh, that's the website, petwantsexton.com or Pet Wants Exton uh, on both Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those fun places. Um, it is franchise. I bought the franchise, and I have been plowing everything I've got into launching this business, uh, from training to calls to 
product inventory uh, to today. I spent all day at a conference um, out here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, making some of the products, ordering the products, stocking things, uh, so on and so forth. And now I'm doing a lot of customer deliveries and it's been an all encompassing process. And that's the main reason that I've been away. Um, my old day job provided me a uh, easy venue for doing listening. I was in an office, you know, 40 hours a week uh, in a role that allowed me to do a lot of listening with headphones. Uh, this is not as much availability to listen, although I still uh, do a good amount of listening. But what I haven't been able to do is really take the time to do more exploration and finding more shows and cycling things in and out. I've sort of just fallen into the habit of what I know and what I like. So a lot of the guests from the previous shows, uh, episodes that I've published here have been, you know, have stayed in my queue and I've been listening to their awesome ongoing work. Uh, and so I've not done enough cycling through and finding new, and I just didn't feel like I've been able to do the listening, uh, find the content, reach out, solicit the interviews, organize the times uh, to be able to sit down with guests, not to mention the time associated with recording, editing, publishing, marketing, getting the word out, and all that the Podcast Digest has uh, consumed in terms of time uh, over the past three years. It just hasn't been there. That said, the business is live. Things are going pretty well. We've had a great first uh, eight weeks of launch. I launched uh, officially 8-1. My first sort of sale was about 8-11. Uh, and now we're up and rolling. And I'm starting to slowly settle into a process where I'm comfortable with um, sort of the weekend, week out routine with what's necessary, what time is required. Um, and I'm hoping that, I don't know, in the next month or two to be able to start carving out a few time windows available to potentially booking more interviews. Um, that's my goal. Uh, this thing's not going to die. I, what I need to do, I feel first is to just start getting two or three episodes in the can. I'm likely to switch to maybe every other week. I, I don't see a situation where I could probably bring it back as a weekly show. So at best, I'm looking at probably every other week, but hopefully uh, new content. Um, I played around all through May and June, as many of you know, doing things like replays and episodes like this. I called my solo episodes um, to try to bring you guys behind the scenes of what was happening. And um you know, it worked for a little while. We did some new things in there. I had a couple new interviews uh, in the first half of June, um, and then it just sort of fell off uh, after that point. And it was just all that I could do to even put together some of the flashbacks or replays that I was doing. Uh, but again, I, I think the bottom line here is that the podcast digest is not dead. I, I spent three years building this show. I worked really hard and spent a lot of time, and I've heard from a lot of you that you really like what I'm doing and what I've done. And that humbles me and it means a lot to me. And I want to keep producing that. I've had such a great time being able to speak to so many of these creators and hosts and marvelous people that I've enjoyed getting to know, admiring their work and standing in awe of what it is that they do and enjoying uh, their end products so much that to be able to dig deeper into what they do and to find out, you know, how it is that that engine runs, I think is an interesting story. Um, and I hope that you listening right now have found that an interesting story. And it's a story I want to keep bringing. Um, there are other shows out there now that are doing this. Uh, a lot of shows out there <laughs> now doing what I do. Um, I wasn't the first one. Uh, probably won't be the last one. There'll probably be others coming along. Um, but, uh, I hope that you enjoy the spin that I try to put on it. So, so it'll be coming back. Uh, and that's the most important thing in the meantime. Um, all I can ask really is your continued patience. Um, if you want to see uh, a little bit more every blue moon, I'll tweet something out, uh, from the, uh, Twitter account uh, at pod digest, still my most used communication channel. So that is probably the best place to see updates about the podcast digest and what's coming up and what might be, you know, breaking news at any given time. Um, 
I want, I want to keep putting the show out. I think that it's important. Um, this is a crazy world we live in right now, guys, as many of you know. Uh, when you look at the current state of politics, when you look at what's going on in the world, there's not a lot of happy news, let's say. And so I think that producing quality entertainment that people enjoy uh, and find interesting is important. And there's so many people out there doing it. And to be able to take my little pebble and throw it in that ocean uh, to contribute to uh, you know contribute a little wave that that hopefully somebody will see uh, is uh, a great way to spend my time. And I'm hopefully returning to a place where I can continue to find that time. That's my goal. So thank you all very much for continuing to subscribe to this feed. I have no idea how many people are going to hear this. Uh, but those of you who do are awesome. You're the freaking best. It amazes me that you guys have stuck around this long. And um, don't go anywhere. Thanks for, thanks for sticking it out with me. Uh, new stuff's coming. New interviews. Um, new in-depth conversations. New behind-the-scenes uh, tales of, of your favorite shows and, and hopefully some shows that maybe you haven't found yet. That's what I've done for the last uh, 149 episodes. I continue uh, to desire to do it and I intend to do so. So stay tuned. In the meantime, folks, that will do it for this brief little update. It wasn't much, but I hope maybe you know a little bit more about the hiatus, about what's been going on. And I appreciate everyone's well wishes and the comeback. We're waiting, that type of thing. It feels awesome to hear that stuff. So if you want to keep that coming, you won't get an argument from me. <laughs> uh, until next time, folks, hopefully sooner than later. My name's Dan Lizette for the Podcast Digest. <laughs>